So I'm back here with Harley. Uh, it's been like eight or nine days. I, I didn't count them up, but after about five days into it, kind of what I expected to happen, I'm bored out of my mind with him. He's a really good-hearted horse. Um, no more nicknames for him. He's earned my respect. He's sluggish. Um, he's lazy. But that's exactly what the owner's going to want, so there is no reason for me to try to change any of that. He is what he is, and at the end of the day, the owner wants a good, safe trail horse that's not going to pull any games on her and is safe, and that is what he is. Um, after the second day, after the I originally shot the video, I found some stuff out of him. Um, it's kind of just typical stuff that a horse is going to do. They just get really defiant. They don't want to do nothing. Um, that all kind of went away with him. He's not perfect at anything, but he is great exactly the way he is for the owner. Um, I think the favorite thing about him is he's very consistent in his gates. Um, if I ask him to just bump around at a walk, that's what he's going to do. If I ask him to do a nice easy trot, I mean, I could drop the reins and he'll go around like an old school horse and, and that is a really hard trait to find and he already has it. Um, his lope is slow, it's sluggish, um, it's very comfortable, believe it or not. Um, I really like him, he, he's an honest horse, so he's just a, a spoiled little guy and none of that's changed except for he has some respect now, he knows what his job is. Um, the, the little bit of stuff I worked with was some flexion. Kind of hard for him. He's got that short, fat neck. Um, he's sitting here mouthing my boot right now. <laughs> uh, he, he's just, you know, he's an honest horse. There's not a thing wrong with him. He's a pleasure, but it's time for him to get out of here. Uh, he, I'm just bored out of my mind riding a horse like this. So I'm gonna do a little bit of riding around the ring. We're going to stop and I'm going to get set up for a couple more scenes and finish his video. Typically what I have to do on a lot of horses, because they're always too forward for what I look for, is a lot of flexion and walk. And you know, he ain't going nowhere any more faster than what I make him. He, that just isn't him. So that was a good thing, but you know, I, I like doing these flexion with a horse, get them nice and supple, and if I'm ever in a trouble, um, more importantly, the owner, you know, I should be able to do a one rein stop with him. So he still gets a little pin his ears back when I ask him to work. That's probably never going to get out of him, and that's not a big deal because this is the speed the owner's going to want to go on anyway. If she wants to do a little trotting, that's good. You know, he'll do it. He don't mind that speed either. So, I mean, very easy going. <coughs> Saw the water trough there. He didn't care for that. But it's okay. He just looked at it. Like, this is, to me, for an old trail horse, and he's not old. This is perfect for a trail horse, you know. He ain't picking up speed. He's sitting there thinking again, who in the world is he talking to again? He's yelling at me, but my tone of voice he should be okay with because I'm not really yelling at him. We all know this because we're getting video right now. When he settles down, he actually lowers his head really nice. Um, but he don't stay there. Again, for a trail horse, that makes no difference. He's definitely more relaxed going to the right. He don't brace up on the bit.
to me is what I like. Just gentle, goes with the flow. Oh. You know. He's not, he's not perfect at absolutely anything, but for a trail horse, in a sense, he is gonna be perfect because he does exactly what he should. So I'm gonna finish up for now, get set up for the next couple scenes, and we'll go from there. So I worked with Harley a couple days with the whips and tarps and all that. I, I didn't really spend much time with that at, at all. It, it's not necessary with him. Um, I've never done any of this stuff on his back. Apparently he's gonna do the show for me. In a minute he's gonna pick his tarp up and we're just gonna walk around, it looks like. But anyway, let's see with the reaction. Um, I'm not gonna care if there's a small reaction. My goal is to show the owner that he ain't gonna flip out, take off, buck in, and spook in, and just run like a thoroughbred racehorse. Um, he ain't never gonna be able to do that anyway, but he might, he might look like it to the owner. So that's what I don't want to happen. So he handled that really good for something I've never done. But he's not a horse that's really bothered about anything anyhow. So we'll see what he does when I grab a hold of this tarp and all of a sudden it's flying right behind him. Even though he was very curious about it, he might not care for that. But we're gonna find out. If I have to, I'll drop it. Um, Pretty bothered here, and that's okay because this isn't stuff he's gonna have to do anyhow. So I'm gonna give him an escape route. He doesn't have to walk towards it. As soon as he figures out it's not gonna hurt him, he'll be a little better about it. And this, by the way, is definitely something you should not do because this can really set horses off. If you ain't ready for it, you're definitely gonna get in trouble. One thing the owner did say she wanted to do was be able to ride him bitless. I don't own a bitless bridle. So the next best thing should be a halter and a lead rope.
So I don't expect him to turn real good. I just got a lead rope on him. Um, but, you know, I want him to be able to stop and go and all that and turn. And then, um, if he turns his face around like that, I'm going to let him know not to do that again. Um, I don't know if he's ever been ridden bareback. I know it hasn't been with me. So, um, not every horse likes that. They'll get over that too. They're just not used to it. Does neck rain very, very little. There it is. Pretty gentle guy. Just good enough to be the perfect horse for what the owner wants. Um, to recap everything, he was a horse that wasn't ridden for two years. I didn't know much about him or anything. Um, he went with the flow, and a good foundation start on a horse really pays off because eight or nine days, and you know, he's pretty well the perfect horse for what the owner wants again. So now she can spoil him and. Now she has a reason for him. As long as she uses him, um, he'll stay the same. She'll be happy. He'll be respectful. And that's all. Have a good day. One more thing. I, I forgot to do this. Uh, it's just something I like to do on horses. Usually I like to do it with saddles because I don't want to hurt their back. But let's just see what he does. We'll see how calm he really is. So any movement out of him, and, and he, I'm going to go right off the side. Um, I really don't like doing this whatsoever without a saddle, because I don't like to hurdle. But you know what? That's a good boy. Now, have a good day.